Hey guys, so today uh, we are actually going to show that how you can actually store your uh, form data information in Excel uh, and you can easily get it uh, through your folder of uh, your laptop or computer or phone. Okay, so uh, in general, uh, what happens is as an admin, you actually get all the responses uh, through this kind of uh, Excel button you press it and all the information related to the um, response actually gets downloaded and uh, it is kind of there it takes time and it actually you actually have to come and check the uh, form and you have to uh, come again and again so despite uh, uh, you also have an opportunity to kind of shorten the process so what you have to do you just have to go to the Power Automate, Microsoft Power Automate. Then you can actually press the Create button. Uh, here you have you can find Automated Cloud Flow. So you press it. We give it a name. You press it. When a new response is submitted, then press the Create. Okay. Then you pick a form. In case, in this case, we'll pick practice form so it is here practice form then we will place the three dots and in the settings split with off and click it done and then new step here apply it to page so I do I know you should find the you know this is not here yeah, apply to each okay here we will place the list of response notification okay i think yes i just have to place it for once then add an action uh, then get response uh, uh, you can find the get response details yeah it's form and form id will be the this one yeah like this form and then in the response for ID you have to choose a list of response notification response ID and add an action you have to um, add kind of add a row okay add a row into a table then uh, what you have to do the location you just choose one drive for business yeah. document library will be one drive and in the file section it is the main part actually so i will show you as the admin if you place this open in excel you your data and the excel form will be downloaded so we will use it okay so show in folder we will cut it and we will take it folder for in the folder for practice what is it actually it is my onedrive folder connected into my laptop okay so you can see there are three folders first event folder for practice and microsoft team chat files okay now we will go here you can actually see that exactly in the file section we have uh, first event folder for practice max of team for chat why did this happen because i chose document library as one drive and one day for business so my one drive account related to this mail has been uh, informed about the process and uh, we can access it so i will actually try and uh, see the data before okay no uh, sorry we just cut the form so yeah we will see from here okay so you can see that i already have uh, actually filled the form twice so me too and charlie uh, two names i have used and uh, two times i get the ratings and something something so you just uh, see i've just seen uh, the previous uh, responses and we'll just now close this okay 
close this one okay in the file section we will just now choose hold of a practice and we will choose this excel form just we just previously downloaded it okay and paste it in this folder called hold of a practice okay so we will use that excel form to upgrade our information in these forms because you know that uh, get response details or add a row into table you can easily realize that in this excel we will add a row information in this excel okay so that is the thing okay we have chose this uh, thing okay in the table uh, we will choose the table one okay and now what happens is in the completion time and then yeah in, uh, we, will, we will use submission time and uh, as uh, i didn't feel any kind of name or something oh yeah i did feel a name so we will actually use on uh, the uh, you can see that there is name and name too why is this okay oh yeah so you can see that uh, i have filled uh, the form and i have an a row where I, I wanted the name so it is uh, called name so actually by default they actually have email name total person etc etc but this time this name too is actually for uh, my name actually so twice the name so for uh, clearing the confusion they used it so I will actually use the here name and uh, happy with the course I will use happy with the course yeah this thing happy with the course happy with the course and uh, points feedbacks okay wait uh, you can see here name happy with the course and rate my course okay so rate my course so where is the rate my course here so we will use the rate my course here also okay so done it's done okay, so three rows and three uh, kind of data we have included and we will just save it now okay to reset yeah now we will test we will test manually okay save and test so we will test now how okay so we will just fill this form again so we will use Saber okay so happy with the course uh, yeah so uh, no I will choose no this time because to be unique I rate my course uh, so register that's all so let's submit okay thanks you will special submit now you can go to the microsoft uh, sorry yeah check if the uh, flow has run or not the flow ran successfully okay now we will go to the folder folder for practice and here you can check uh, yeah you can check that the new row has been added wait sub it then uh, happy with the course no and also and uh, rate my course to three star so that was it thanks for watching the video